Yo, what's going on guys? And today I want to talk about Matthew Hurt. If you guys did not know, he was a five-star recruit for the Duke Devils, the Duke Blue Devils. And he was actually ranked the ninth best prospect by Rivals, the 16th best prospect for 24-7 Sports, and the 11th best prospect by ESPN going into his freshman year. And, you know, his freshman year, he didn't do much. He only averaged about 20 minutes per night and scored 9.7 points. But this past year... He went off playing in 24 games, averaging 32.7 points per night, shooting 44% from three, 55% from the field, six rebounds per night, 1.4 assists, about a steal night, and a block with 18.3 points. So let's talk about my man and the man of the hour. So if you guys haven't really got into it, this man comes out of Minnesota and played for John Marshall. And he's 6'9", 215. He's a sophomore. He's a young kid, born 420, 2000. Same birthday as a uh, bad person, but, you know, a great day still. And he's a great shooter. He can hit NBA threes with ease. And he can actually score low posts. Really, I see him as a modern-day stretch four. He's good at scoring on the move. He can catch. He can, He's great when there's a playmaker who can create shots for him, but he can create for his own. He does have some action. He can pass the ball out the post. You know, he has some... Playmaking ability, not the most, but he was 1.4 assists. I do believe that that'll go up. And he's a guy who can play multiple positions. He can play small forward. He can play power forward. He could really play shooting guard if they needed it. If anybody want to play that big of a lineup. I wouldn't play him at center, but if anybody wants him to be at center, they can. One of his problems is he's not really the strongest or has elite athleticism. He has an above average athleticism, but he isn't like going to blow you away like Anthony Edwards. So he lacks that elite first step off the dribble and... Because he isn't the strongest guy, he isn't the best scorer in traffic. And he can get careless on offense and, you know, have a lot of turnovers some games. And he's a decent rebounder for his size. Nothing insane, only six rebounds a night. And definitely he'll struggle against quicker players. But he's an agile, skilled, you know, modern day forward, small ball, big man that can have a solid set of skills that are all around. He's not particularly great at one thing, but he's not particularly bad at one thing. He can knock down those deep three jumpers. He can score on catch and shoot off ball motion plays and be around the basket as well, as well and get a catch and shoot. He's a decent rebounder for a small forward, power forward size. And he has the ability to create his own shot and that he can be a guy who can guard players that are better than him. He's actually a really good you know, perimeter defender, even though he lacks the best athleticism. And he's a really talented player who has high basketball IQ, great skill set and a great motor and i really do believe he'll be a first round pick in this year's draft so let me hear what you guys think about matthew hurt but that's it for me today guys peace out